We are learning more about how a dire staffing shortage is affecting safety at North Carolina prisons. 13 News now uncovered the high vacancy rate, which officials think contributed to the fatal escape attempt in October, still plagued Pasquatank Prison when an inmate actually escaped months later. 13 News Now investigative reporter Laura Geller joins us with brand new information. Federal investigators report the double digit vacancy rate at Pasquatank Prison led to burnout, complacency and taking of shortcuts. Since then, North Carolina officials have said they're focusing on recruiting corrections officers, but new data shows the numbers are still low. We've told you Officer Justin Smith was the only officer guarding the Pasquatank sewing plant when the violence which claimed his life erupted in October. It shouldn't have never happened. Then the prison was short 82 officers. Smith's mother, Melanie Mathewson, reacted to the situation. You can't have one person with 30 something deadly inmates. The facility again came into the spotlight in June. We've learned the prison was still short corrections officers when an inmate was able to break out of Pasquatank almost eight months after Smith and three others were killed. Devonta Respers slipped away from the minimum custody part of the prison on June 8th. Staffing numbers reveal for that month, 65 vacant correction officer positions and another 18 officers were on some sort of leave. A spokesperson tells us Pasquotank is one of the places where hiring can be difficult and the state has increased its recruiting efforts. Officials are also focusing on retaining current officers. Still, according to this data, the vacancy numbers continue to fluctuate. And that has Mathewson thinking about her son's co-workers left behind at Pasquatank. I want justice. I want justice for the four people that died. I want justice for the workers that are still there. We can't tell you exactly how many officers were working at the prison on any given day. State officials clarified just because there was a leave of absence doesn't mean the position was left vacant at the time. Without going through each individual record, they can't give a more concrete staffing figure. Laura Geller, 13 News Now. Is there something you think 13 News Now should investigate? Email your tip to investigate at 13newsnow.com.